Hi there, it's Frank here at the Education Network, and I'd like to explain to you today how to stream your school news show to YouTube. And um, there are some big advantages to doing that. You'll be able to widen your audience, you'll be able to have it recorded and up on YouTube so that people can view it at a later time. You could also restrict your audience to a private audience so it could just only show people that you give the link to. So uh, a couple things with your TriCaster, I want to show you how you can stream from your TriCaster. Now the, the biggest part of this is the setup, but once it's set up, then it's just a question of clicking the stream and you're going and you go out and just changing the, the, the file name of your school uh, uh, news show and putting the date on there so later when you want to search for it, you'll find it. So a couple things. I want to show you the interface here. So uh, up here where it says stream and code, this is really where we're going to be working. So if you click on the gear, you'll come down, this little drop down window pops up. Now you will see things like Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Vinmo, uh, places like that. Um, there is a way to go to YouTube Live where it takes a little bit more setup. I, I would recommend that we try a different way. So what you're going to do is you go around the, where it's called New Preset. You're going to click on that. You're going to stream down, scroll down all the way where it says Custom. You're going to click on Custom. Now, here is where you're going to get some information from your YouTube page and just cut and paste it right in here. The, the stream ID, the server address, username, and password. So um, I'm going to call it, give it a custom name. So let's say for now, you're going to call it, you know, your school YouTube. For me, I'm just going to put mine, Frank's YouTube. So you can call it what you want, but something that you'll be able to remember <laughs> and type. Okay, Frank's YouTube. So I'm going to close that for now. What I'm going to do is I have to go out to my YouTube channel and get that information cut and paste. So you'll notice also that there is a little tab for a web browser, and of course you got to be connected to the internet. I mean, that's understandable. So I'm going to go web browser, and I'm going to look for my YouTube channel, and I have a little... Uh, link here I can click on. So here's my YouTube channel. Now, I already signed in and everything, so you're going to want to do that ahead of time. And I'm going to go up here where you see the little camera with the plus sign. What I'm going to do is that's where I'm going to get information. I'm going to click on the plus sign, and I'm going to go to the go live. Now, here is your YouTube channel. It's going to open up, and it's going to give you some information shortly. Uh, okay, so I am going to name this video Testing YouTube Stream. Here is where you would go edit, and you would put in school news and the date. It's important that you would do that, and then you would click save. So, but here's the information you, you got to get. Down here, over here, you'll see what's called the stream key, and it's also called the stream URL. Now, this is where you will be streaming too, and that's YouTube. So what you want to do is you want to go over here and click copy. Now it says I, I copied it. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go back to where I set up my original uh, YouTube account. I'm going to click on the gear, and here is the server address that I just copied. I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to go control D, and I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to close it again, go back to web, go back to my YouTube, and here's this all really important. This is called your stream key. Now you'll see that it's, it's blanked out because that's critical. If anybody has your stream key, they can stream to your channel and you don't want that. So keep that secure and keep that private. So all you have to do now is go over here where it says copy. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna minimize. I'm gonna go back to my little uh, Frank's YouTube that I made. Here's the stream key. Click on stream key, control V, and there it is. Now this is the important part too. Remember, 
This is for an administrator, a YouTube administrator, your school to fill out. I'm going to put my username. Username is your is your email. So I'm going to attempt an email without screwing up. Um, <laughs> Beach Schools. Dot org. That's my email, and now I'm going to put my password down. Again, this is your administrator password. So I'm going to put it down, and uh, and I'm going to say enter, and I'm going to close. So now I have all that information. I'm going to show it to you again. I'm going to click on the gear. I have the name of my little. Uh, uh, window, for a lack of a better name, connection name, Frank YouTube, server address, that's where we're going to go, and then uh, this is my stream key, which you shouldn't be looking at. <laughs> that should have been private. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. So uh, now what we have to do is, as far as the, the uh, 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 TriCaster, to make sure we're going out, we're sending out what we want. So if you go up here to this gear, I, there's two different streams where you can uh, actually stream to something else at the same time. Let's say Facebook or something like that, but that's for another day. So I'm going to click on the gear, and it's going to say, these are presets for configuring the stream out. You'll notice that there's low, there's medium, there's high, and there's a session stream. Um, I, I'm going to recommend the medium because if you go too high, the amount of data that's flowing out from the network uh, could get choked and it would it could it could be a problem so I recommend just go with medium at this point and it and the quality is still going to be high def it's going to be 720 high def as opposed to 1080 um, you could try if you went high you could try that if that's not a problem then that's fine that'll be high def also I'm going to go medium, and I'm going to say OK. So that's where we saw this gear. Now you're saying, oh, wait a minute, there's more? OK, bear with me now on this. We're going to look for what do we want to send out, right? And with the TriCaster, there's, there's uh, multiple things you can send out. So we're going to go to Source Setup. That pops up. And you'll see Output, and it'll say Source, Mix 1, Mix 2, Mix 4, Stream 1. And here's Stream 1. So what stream one is going to send out is mix one. So mix one is our program out, and that's what you want. Now this is usually default. So uh, when you open that, that should already be set. Mix one is the program out, and stream one is mix one, which is the program out. <laughs> OK, so we're going to close that. So we're like, OK, we got all our settings now. Now, may have seemed a little bit complicated, but now that we did that, now you're going to be able to stream every day just by clicking the uh, stream and code. So I'm going to close that window now. And uh, I am going to stream and code to my YouTube channel. So I want to show you another thing, too. I'm going to go back up here to the web browser and to my YouTube channel. And there it is there. So let me minimize that. So I'm going to click now up here, stream and code. Now what you'll notice is. It turns blue. And if the numbers are going as these are, that's a good indicator that, yes, it's working and it's streaming out. But here's what you're going to do. I recommend you get like a laptop or another computer and ha already have it open so you could see your stream and hear it. So, But I'm going to show you here on the web browser where you can pull it up. So um, I'm going to go web browser. I'm going to go back to my YouTube live stream. And I'm looking here, and what do you know? It actually worked. Here, here I am. Now, there's going to be a delay, so don't worry about that. By the time it goes out to the, to the uh, through district network, out to the YouTube channel, and back in again, it, it there's a delay, but don't worry about that. So I'm looking at it now. It says, OK, I got an excellent uh, connection. There's my title. It's all there. My stream settings are over here, which I set, remember? And analytical basically just tells you who's watching, things like that. Now, I haven't set the private because uh, I didn't want this to go out to anybody else at this point.
but you will be able to set it to private also and then share the link to the people that you want. So uh, your school probably has a group email. You can share the link to the group email so that teachers and staff can watch it at their convenience by clicking the link. Because this, if they don't see it live, uh, it'll, be, it'll be there after. It'll be recorded up on YouTube. Okay, so there it is, it's working. Uh, and let's see, I'm gonna go back and minimize this again. I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna go to my graphics. I'm gonna say, hey, it's springtime now. Okay, so <laughs> we got some flowers. How about a few birds maybe? We got, oh, there they are, okay, there's some birds. All right, so we're working and I'm looking up here now. It's been two minutes or so, so far, so you know how long your show is. I'm gonna go back to a regular background. And I'm gonna say, okay, uh, that's it. Uh, that's our show for today. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Give it a couple seconds, I'm gonna hit stream code again. Boom, blue light goes off, number stop, I stop streaming. So let's take another look on my web browser and see what's happening here. And you notice that it's just spinning and it's done even though it still says live, I stopped the stream in the TriCaster. So all you're gonna to have to do now is just go end stream. The reason you do that is because if I would have clicked stream again, it would have kept going. But you don't need to do that. You just need one stream and you're done. So I'm gonna end that and it's gonna go, uh, it's, that, that stream is, is, is finished. So I'm gonna go back to, um, to up here, you'll see with like the little icon, it's gonna be probably your school icon. You're gonna click on that. I'm gonna say your channel. I'm gonna to go to your, you go back to your channel. And here's, here's my channel. Now I'm gonna look up here and go manage videos. And here are my videos. We say, well, I don't see the one you just did. And you're right, because I'm on videos. Where you wanna to go to is where it says live. So I'm gonna click live. And I'm gonna say, oh, there's my video. So I click on that, I say there's my video, and here's the link. So you're gonna get that link and you're gonna copy it. And here's a little thing here that says copy link. But I'm actually gonna watch it here, so I'm not gonna worry about copying it. I'm gonna click on the link. And here's my video. So uh, you won't probably hear the sound on it now because it's going through the system here, but there's my video. And that will be your news show. So here's where it says, uh, where you will do sharing, settings, play video. I just stopped it. And uh, here's your share tab. So you will click on share. And then, and then here's where you could say where do you want to share it. So here is the, here's the, the uh, link to the share. You copy that and then put it wherever you want. So that's it. I'm gonna stop my little video because I'm gonna uh, actually <laughs> delete that. But I think you'll find, let's take a little bit of a picture here. Let's, let's put a little boring back there. That's better. Okay, so I think you'll find that once you understand this and you get through those settings, which I know can be like a lot, that's why I recommend you get your tech person to help you or somebody that's familiar with maybe uh, streaming on YouTube. But notice now, once I did that setting, um, let me go back again real quick. Once I did that and I go here, it's already set, everything's set. It's clicked on here, that's ready to go. So I don't have to go back in and do all those settings again. All I have to do is click the stream and code, right there. So I think you'll find that um, you know it works and it, it may be a better solution for you and your school. So let me know if you have problems and let me put up my card here and you know I'd be glad to help. So let me know, email me, best way to get me and here's my card and I'll switch over to that <laughs> so you can see that. Uh, best way is to email me because uh, I'll re I'm usually at schools and I'll look at my email during the day and sometimes I'll see, oh, you're right, you know, you're close, I'll come by and see you. So hopefully that wasn't too complicated and uh, I, uh, 
I hope you got something out of it. So have a good day, and uh, thanks for watching.